of the greatest nation in all of human history. So let me tell you what that privilege means. That privilege means that growing up, I never felt limited by the circumstances of my birth. I never felt that because my dad was a bartender and my mom was a maid, there were things I couldn't do. I don't remember feeling that because my last name ended in a vowel, that I can only do certain things. <laughs> and rightfully so. Because in America, time and again, we have proven that anyone from anywhere can accomplish anything if you are willing to work hard and play by the rules. That's right. That in this nation, it won't always be easy. We work hard here. That's right. But if you're willing to do that, and if your dreams and your ideas have merit, you can accomplish things unimaginable to your parents and your grandparents. Now that's our story, but the great thing about it is it's not a unique story. It is also your story. It is the story of countless Americans who over and over again have told the story of parents and grandparents who made it the mission of their life to ensure that their children would have the opportunity to do the things that they themselves did not. Who worked every day and sometimes night to open doors for, for their children and their grandchildren that did not even exist for them. These things are possible because of the nature of our nation, because of its exceptionalism, because of the things that make it unique. These things make us different from the rest of the world. We have to fight to keep it that way. That is literally what's at stake. And so I'm here today to ask you to vote for me, if you haven't already done so. By the way, just, just by show of hands, how many of you have voted already? We use that to identify the people that have not voted already. We just, we just took an aerial photograph of the crowd and we'll be contacting you shortly. If you haven't already voted, consider voting early. It's great. Procrastination is not the best thing to do in elections. Things come up. You can vote right now. You can leave here right now and go vote. I don't know what the lines are like, but it's worth it. Get or not bad. If you've already voted, get someone, you know, get other people to vote. Every single one of you knows somebody that's not going to go out and vote if you don't get them there. Maybe it's a friend, a neighbor, someone you go to church with, someone you work with. Sometimes it's even your spouse, right? <laughs> get them out to vote. And finally, spread the word. If you've got time in the next five days to volunteer for any of these campaigns, I ask you to do so. You know, we have a chance in Florida to replace four votes for Nancy Pelosi yeah. with four votes hey. against Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> We've got a chance to resend and resend people back to Tallahassee that will continue to make a difference in your lives. We've got local government races, which I've always said, in many respects, are so much more important than your federal races or U.S. Senate races. Look, U.S. Senators, they probably a couple times a year vote on something that directly impacts you. But your local and state officials, they do that stuff all the time. That's right. It matters who's at those levels of government. I encourage you to get out and vote for them. I encourage you to get out and vote for our statewide ticket. Yes. The four races we have for cabinet. The next attorney general, I want it to be someone who will pursue this lawsuit against yes. Obamacare. Yes. next CFO, I want it to be somebody that we can trust with the state's finances that's right. to make right and wise decisions about the tax dollars that they spend. Right. Our next act, that's why I want it to be Jeff Atwater. Yeah. 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 Agriculture is a critical, critical industry in our state, yeah. often neglected by the press and, other, and ourselves. It's important that we have the right person as our agriculture commissioner. That's why we want Adam Putnam. Yeah. And I want our next governor to be someone that doesn't have to look on their Blackberry to know the answer to a question. Yeah. That's why I'm asking you to vote for Rick Scott. Six days. After 21 months of hard work, six days from today. We're going to have an election here. We're going to have the last day of an election here in Florida and across America. And here's what I know. I know that we're going to do our part. And if you do your part, November 2nd is going to be a special day. Yeah. Yeah. It will be a day, 
it will be a day that through the people we elect across this country, across the state, and right here in Northwest Florida, Americans and Floridians will send a very clear signal. We want to remain exceptional. We want to remain special. Yes. And we are going to elect people that will stand up to this direction that they are taking us and offer an alternative. An alternative that allows us to leave our children what we inherited and what they deserve to inherit. The single greatest nation in all of human history. Yes.